Today, we are going to delve into a highly important and complex topic, how to choose high-value Tianji DAC or OC cable products. Welcome to the world of cables. I am your guide Zhao Yi. In this vast ocean of cables, how do you choose the product that's best suited for you? Don't worry, I'll tell you right now. First, let's start with a basic understanding of Tianji AOC and DAC cables. The A2Link Tianji AOC is composed of multi-mode optical fibers and two SFP Jia optical modules. It is an active transmission method where optical signals are transmitted through the optical fibers. It is suitable for very short distances and provides an economical and efficient way to connect within rack and between adjacent racks with a length of up to 300 meters on OM3MMF. The Tenji DAC high-speed cable consists of copper cables and two SFP Jia connectors. Unlike SFP Jia optical modules, it lacks optical lasers and electronic components, transmitting electrical signals through copper cables without the process of electro-optical conversion. The Tianji DAC passive cable assembly is a high-performance solution suitable for Tianji Ethernet and Tianji fiber channel applications. I believe everyone has a certain understanding of Tianji AOC and DAC cables. So how should we choose between them? First, you need to understand the advantages and disadvantages of both and then make your purchase based on your needs. The Tianji AOC high-speed cable utilizes optical fiber technology with a maximum transmission distance of 300 meters, whereas the Tianji DAC passive cable has a maximum transmission distance of 10 meters. It is important to note that the specifications of DAC cables can vary depending on the speed. Higher speeds result in shorter transmission distances. Transmission distance the Tianji AOC wins. Electromagnetic interference refers to the interference caused by external electrical sources on a circuit. A Tianji AOC transmits optical signals through fiber optics, making it immune to electromagnetic interference. However, a Tianji DAC transmits electrical signals through copper cables and is susceptible to the effects of electromagnetic interference. Electromagnetic interference resistance uh, Tianji AOC wins. In general, the power consumption of a Tianji AOC is higher than that of a Tianji DAC. This is because passive DAC has a special heat dissipation design and can be considered almost zero power consumption. Therefore, Tianji DAC is suitable for a wider range of environmental temperatures. Power consumption and environmental temperature, Tianji DAC, wins. The cost of a 10G passive DAC is lower than that of a 10G AOC of the same length because the 10G DAC has fewer internal components, a relatively simple structure, and uses copper wire material, which is cheaper than optical fiber material. In other words, when deploying networks in large data centers, Choosing a significant quantity of DACs will save more costs compared to OCs. Cost of 10G DAC wins. Next, let's take a look at the practical application scenarios of these two types of cables. 10G AOC and DAC cables are mainly used in data centers for 10G Ethernet servers, switches, and data center overhead cabling. In summary, whether to choose a 10G DAC or a OC cable depends on your specific needs. We hope our presentation has been helpful in assisting you with selecting the right cable product. See you in our next video.